Too advanced to display. China's reusable spacecraft Long March 2F currently has a success rate of 100%, a reliability of 0.97, and a safety of 0.997, which is why it is called a legendary rocket. As the most solid guarantee for manned spaceflight, it is not easy to realize it, but this female chief designer named Rong Yi has made the impossible task possible and the difficult into easy. Rong Yi, it means easy in Chinese. But contrary to the name easy, what she would do in her life is not at all easy. In the field of rocketry, it is extremely difficult for women to stand out, and the pressure that Rong Yi to bear is enormous, which is unimaginable for ordinary people. She has successively completed the manned moon landing technology approach, participated in the development roadmap of China's new generation rockets, served as the person in charge of the escape technology of the Shenzhou series rocket system for many times and the chief designer of Shenzhou-12, the only manned transport rocket in China. In addition, she participated in all six missions of the Manned Spaceflight Engineering Rendezvous and Docking and the Space Laboratory, served as the person in charge of the escape safety control of the rocket system three times, and served as the rocket commander at the launch site three times. One can imagine the heavy responsibility and great pressure on her. As we all know, women play very special roles in society and family, and they are under a lot of pressure. So, how do female scientists find a balance in society and family? Today, let's talk about the only female chief designer of China's manned rocket. In 1978, a little girl was born in Hubei Enshi Tujia and Miao Autonomous Prefecture. At that time, Enshi was a relatively poor place. It was located in the mountains, where information was blocked, transportation was inconvenient. Rome has understood a truth at a very young age, that is, knowledge changes fate, and she has to study hard. With excellent grades, she was admitted to the best local high school. Until now, Rome's high school teacher is still very impressed with her. Her math teacher said that Rong is a student with a unique mindset, and she always starts with the hardest question. With unremitting efforts and perseverance, Rong was admitted to the most difficult school to get into in China, the National University of Defense Technology. Rong and his parents were so happy that they could not sleep all night. Years of hard work finally paid off. How powerful is China's National University of Defense Technology? Well, it is founded by President Mao, and is directly led by the Central Military Commission. It is known as Tsinghua University in the military. This was the first time that Rome walked out of the mountain areas and saw the world outside. Rome's college major was aerospace technology, perhaps her reverie when she was looking up at the sky as a child. Now in her hands, these reverie are gradually becoming reality, which is really a wonderful feeling for Rome. In 2001, Rome was sent to Tsinghua University to study for a master's degree because of his excellent grades. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Rome is such a lucky person. After graduation, she entered her dream place, China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. After walking out of school and entering the workplace, she found that no practice, no gain in one's wit. In the real operation, there are too many things to learn. The colleagues at work are the leaders in this industry. Working and living among a group of excellent people, Rome also feels unprecedented pressure here. The aerospace and rocket industry is out of reach of ordinary people, but those who are really in it know that this is a boring and hard job. However, facing pressure and challenges, Rome has never flinched. In this industry, women may be inherently disadvantaged. It is undeniable that it will indeed be more difficult for women to do many things than men. But she believes that what boys can do, she can do the same, and she has paid several times more effort than others. When others are off work, she still works hard in the research room, and when others are on vacation, she continues to study with professional books. Diligence can make up for clumsiness, not to mention that Rome is smart. In her conscientiousness and hard work, Rome slowly changed from a newbie to a female heavy rocket expert who can play her own role in the studio. The development roadmap of one-off launch vehicles, the type spectrum planning of a new generation of medium-sized launch vehicles, etc., Rome has made outstanding achievements one after another in her work. The reward will come soon. Because of her outstanding workability, Rome became the only female designer of the Long March 2nd rocket in 2009. 
she is mainly responsible for the fault inspection and escape plan of the Long March 2nd rocket. This year, Rome was only 31 years old. This seemingly insignificant job, but the insider understands the importance of these two jobs. The fault detection and escape system is specially developed to ensure the safety of astronauts, and it is also a unique system for manned rockets. Whether the rocket fault detection criterion is formulated correctly will directly affect the life safety of the astronauts. In order to meet the requirements of the manned space engineering rendezvous and docking tasks, the Long March 2F rocket has made a number of technical improvements, and the fault detection system has also undergone many changes in technical status. In the process of rocket flight, the two systems that people least want to play are fault detection and escape and life-saving. Bearing the success of the country's aerospace achievements and the safety of astronauts' lives, it is conceivable how much pressure Rome is under. For this reason, Rome, who just became a mother, gave up time with her baby at this time, worked overtime and continued to study, in pursuit of zero mistakes. For women, how to balance work and family has always been an issue that the whole society is discussing. Rome is no exception. She knows that she has a heavy responsibility, but she also values her family. Although she is busy with work, as long as she spares a little time, she will choose to go home and spend every minute and every second with her family. She and her husband will take the children out to play on weekends, and she will also cook a meal for her husband and children when she is free, and she will make a phone call to her parents during her busy schedule and have a chat with them. Human energy is limited, but in limited energy, Rome does her best to serve the country and home. So Romy has been really not easy these years. At 9.22 on June 17, 2021, the Long March 2F-12 carrier rocket carrying the Shenzhou-12 manned spacecraft was launched on time at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. This is the third time that Rome has served as the rocket system escape safety control person, and the third time she has served as the rocket commander at the launch site. In the interview video, Chief Arjun, the first chief designer of the Shenzhou spacecraft, introduced Rome like this. He said, seeing her, everything will become easy. In January 2022, Rome was elected to the Person of the Year in 2021 Beijing Role Models. At the award ceremony, she said, the people engaged in the development of manned rockets feel the special mission and responsibility of, a human life is of greater value than everything. Chinese are walking more and more steadily and farther in space, and we are getting closer and closer to our dreams. I hope that in the future, Chinese astronauts can walk more and more easily. From a girl in a mountain village to the chief designer of a Chinese rocket, Rome's legend is not just an inspirational story. Many of us have a higher starting point in life than her, but have we really worked hard for ourselves? Life is short, time is fleeting, just work hard and fight for the day and night. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.